Law enforcement officers who lost their lives in the line of duty in Baldwin County were remembered today. A special ceremony was held this morning at Law Enforcement Memorial Park in Robertsdale. News 5's Bill Riles was there. There are 10 names of officers from Baldwin County on this monument. The earliest name is from 1895. It's an example of how the law enforcement community will always remember one of their own. Deputy Stewart was killed in 1895, right up to the last officer whose name was added in 2015. Uh, we remember all just the same. This ceremony is one way the law enforcement community does remember. For certain people, events like this hit really close to home. People like Aaron Billa, who recently lost her Mobile police officer her husband. It's emotional every time, but to know, you know, it, it was an honor that Sheriff Mack invited me over here because Justin wasn't a law enforcement officer in Baldwin County, but like he said, there's no borders when it comes to the Blue family. There was another group of special guests here as well. They are the survivors of law enforcement officers who've been lost here and in other parts of the country. My son was Officer David Curtis with Tampa PD. Uh, him and his partner Jeffrey Kocab were murdered in 2010. Hatcher Warren represents the group Alabama Concerns of Police Survivors. She says there are about 400 members of the group in the state of Alabama, all of whom have lost someone in law enforcement. In Robertsdale, Bill Riles, WKRG News 5.